arrived in Cape Town 48 hours and four flights later. Um, the airline has lost my bag. I nearly shit my pants. Um, I called and they uh, they have it. It's in London somewhere. Uh, so uh, it's a good thing I didn't shit my pants because I only have one pair of underwear. Take risks. Wait for no man. Don't die. Crusty adventures keep in a DIY. South Africa like two days before I was supposed to fly in there and he's like man the car broke down you know we're not gonna have wheels no, 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 no. Hello. No. Hello. Matt's cool because he brings this like maniac punk rock side to folk music you know well my opinion is you can't Fucking aspire to the white picket fence because one day you wake up and you're 50 and you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, DIY touring is is not usually a glorious thing. You're gonna need some plastic bags and Gatorade and several diapers. I just look at my shoes, man. <laughs> the man has puked on his fucking shoes and his jeans. God damn. Yeah, darlings. There's nothing worse than having a missing tooth, a smelly ass, and no underpants. <laughs> huh? Yeah, well, I, I had everyone on the road who, like, really struck a chord with me um, sign my guitar case. It, it's cool. Everyone's been cool about it. No one's drawn, uh, you know, drawn a cock on it yet. South African Delicacy by Dr. Pascal, it's a, it's a chip witch. After a week of drinking these puppies, you'll get a beard like this in two days. Yeah, the whole tour, it was really like, uh, you know, it was like this bell curve, like the, the initial novelty was like, well, the fun meter was really, it was really like this, it was like, and then we got sick and puked, and we were puking and puking and puking on our shoes, and then we were playing to four people, and then we were playing to five people, six people, seven people. And then we hit this folk festival right at the end, and pff, the fun meter just kind of exploded. Make